Yeah. Hello, everybody. This is Brian again, talking to you on the Great Wall of China. Here, we are at the right at the outer limit here, where they stop upkeeping the place, and when you go further in the Great Wall, it's got deteriorated, and more vegetation is grown right out of the wall. And that's why they don't allow us through there. But through this developed area, this is where they got plenty of shops, usually selling expensive stuff and that, and lots of solicitation. Including, you could take a picture on top of a ca camel with the Great Wall of China in the background. So, you know, that's all cool and dandy, but this is totally not what I was expecting out of the Great Wall. I mean, I'm pretty sure they took all the American other European tourists to a much lighter area where there's not so much climbing in that, but here it's incredibly steep. I mean, it's just insane to see, see the, how people built a wall not on the side of the mountain, but on top of the mountain. I mean, as you see there, this is this is nothing compared to the nearly 45 degree angles you're going up. Just whoosh, climbing a mountain, and that's how I show you how it feels like. And they even put new railings in there, and it seems like that people back then were not only shorter, as you see when you go inside the uh, big uh, century towers, where the ceilings are really low in the entranceways, but also they're much stronger because they didn't have railings, they were just climbing up these things and probably doing patrols every day. And so it really shows how people were back then as they are now. Things are radically different. You would not expect people to build a wall like this in this modern age here. Now if you can take quickly take a look, you can take a look into the uh, Great Wall itself and see what I mean by the amount of ingenuity that it took. No mountain was going to get in the way of the Chinese. They are going to build a wall where the fuck they needed to, that's for sure. You know? Also, take a uh, look into the wall beyond uh, what's protected now. See that vegetation growing out? Just out of a wall, life is existing. People claim that the Great Wall is such a big structure that you can see it from outer space. Now some people debunk the claim, but if there's going to be any building that you can see from space, it's going to be pretty much a great wall here, as it spans over 2,000 miles across China. And thousands of laborers and people died from constructing it, and what they did is they would just bury the people underneath the wall. So basically what we're also walking on top of here is a big tomb, not only just a wall. That's also a very interesting factor. Now you probably might be wondering, so... When it's just such a long stretch, how do they communicate? What if uh, people were just go going to invade and take one part of the wall? That kind of defeats the whole purpose of a 2,000 mile wall, right? Well, not only was it used as a last line of defense for Beijing, but also was used as a line of communications. If they found the enemy coming through at the, the sentry posts, they would light a flame onto each one of those sentry posts and it would cause a chain reaction. So pretty much uh, by overnight, the entire wall would know that that they're being invaded and know exactly where to go. So that's what I have to say for the Great Wall of China right now. This is Brian Donovan. I'm out.